My name is Patrick Waldburger and uh, I'm happy to be here at Artissima. We have a very young gallery in Brussels and we, it's the first art fair we are doing. And we are bringing an artist which is a little bit older. It's uh, Lynn Hirschman Leeson, who is 70 years old. And we are showing a series which very rarely has been shown before. Lynn Hirschman Leeson in the 70s, she invented another figure. She invented a woman called Roberta Brightmore. And she was documenting the life of Roberta Brightmore during five years. What you see here at the booth is a documentation artifacts of the life of Roberta. You see Roberta going to the psychiatrist. You see Roberta having dates with other men. You see how Roberta arrives in San Francisco. And all this being documented by photographs you see here. And the series in total covers 170 works. We show a rather small selection of at about 25 works. You see in the first part, you see how Roberta is constructed, how she is becoming the personality of Roberta, the, the change from Lynn Hirschman Leeson to Roberta. On the other wall, you see how Roberta is going into real life. It's the fictional character which is going out into reality, who is going to work, who is going to meet these other men. You see Roberta there going to the psychiatrist. And on this wall, we have uh, artifacts of the Roberta's life because she officially only got a personality by having certain documents like a driver's license for Roberta, having a bank account, having checks for Roberta. Roberta also had a diary where she wrote the experiences of the day. Here you see the dress of Roberta, the button she once lost at the date she had. And, and the, the core idea of this series is actually a virtual reality which was invented by Lynn Hirschman Leeson at about 40 years ago, long time before internet. And Roberta is her avatar. And funnily, it's uh, only recently that Stanford University took this idea and put it online as a virtual reality, as a second life. And we are very happy to show this series here in Torino, but we are also happy that at the moment it's like a time of discovery of this series, that uh, in other museums it's shown, it's uh, shown at the moment in the UK, in New York. What we did not know at the time when we were applying for Artissima, that, that this uh, process of uh, discovering this series is going on.